Hello my friends, so I hope you all are having an amazing day with the amazing blessings and with the amazing grace of God. My name is Lian Shannon and welcome to another video. Today, the title of my message will be Let the power of God rule in your life. So without any further delay, let's get into it. So my friends, as I've said before, today the title of my sermon is Let the power of God rule in your life. The Gospel of Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Amen. My friends, in here, Jesus Christ is preaching that he is inviting all of us, uh, that means to those who are weary and burdened, to come to him and he will give them rest. Amen. Here we have a promise, my friends. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. My friends, you need to always remember that the promises of God to us are so incredible. My friends, they encourage, strengthen and refresh us. You need to remember that God is faithful and He is trustworthy. He will definitely keep His promises and He will definitely help us. Amen. My friends, in the Bible, there are many people who has allowed the power of God to rule in their lives. So my friends, let's discuss about three of them. My friends, do you remember Daniel? Do you remember how God rescued Daniel from the lion's den? Do you remember how God helped Daniel to interpret the dream of King Nebuchadnezzar? Do you remember how God gave Daniel wisdom to uh, clarify what was written on that wall and my friends another uh, group of people who has allowed the power of God to rule in their lives are Daniel's friends Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Do you remember how God rescued them from the furnace of fire? And do you remember how God helped King David to defeat Goliath? He has gave he gave him strength. He gave him victory. Amen. My friends, do you remember how God helped King David to defeat Goliath? So, my friends, those are just three of the. Those are just uh, five of the people in the Bible who who has allowed the power of God to rule in their lives. If you have read through the Bible, you may know many people. Who has allowed the power of God to rule in their lives. So my friends, Psalm chapter 9 verse 9 says, The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Amen. My friends, the Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. My friends, Psalm 46 verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Amen. My friends, and you need to always remember that God will definitely answer your prayers. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 says, My word will not return to me void without accomplishing what I desire and without succeeding in the matter for which I sent it. My friends, you need to remember that God will definitely answer your prayers. My friends, the prayers of a righteous person is powerful and effective. My friends, the reason why you are not receiving answers to your prayers may be uh, you need to remember that you need to have faith. Faith is really important, my friends. Without having faith, it is impossible to please God. A way that you can use to increase your faith in God is by reading the Word of God. My friends, the Bible says that faith comes through hearing and hearing from the Word of God. Faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of God. Amen. My friends, and you need to remember that uh, most there are many people, my friends, who are telling that I have prayed to God about my situation, but he has not answered. A reason might be uh, for him to face that kind of a situation is might be his life is filled with sin. My friends, you need to remember that you need to completely eradicate sin from your lives. That is really important, my friends. I know it is difficult because we are living in a world that is filled with sin. So it is really difficult for us to completely remove sin from our lives. But my friends, you need to remember that you can ask 
help from God and God will definitely help you to overcome sin. Amen. My friends, and you need to remember while you are praying, you need to ask God to increase your faith in Him and He will definitely strengthen and increase your faith in Him. Amen. In the book of Philippians, the Apostle Paul is saying that I can do all things through Him who gives me strength. Amen. The book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will make straight your paths. Amen. My friends, we need to remember that we need to trust in the Lord with all our hearts. That is really important and we should never lean on our own understanding because we are just, we are just humans, my friends. We are just, we are, we are humans that is formed by dust. Amen. And my friends, we need to remember that we should never lean on our own understanding, but we should trust in the Lord with all our heart. In all our ways, we need to acknowledge Him and He will definitely make straight our paths. Amen. The book of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Amen. My friends, you need to remember that God will definitely supply for all of your needs. Amen. As the Apostle Paul has said in the book of Philippians, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. And he has also said that do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your requests to God. And my friends, God is faithful to answer your prayers. He will definitely answer your prayers. Amen. The thing is, my friends, you need to pray in the spirit and in truth. That is also really important, my friends. You need to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Psalm 91 verse 1 says, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. The book of Exodus chapter 14 verse 14 says, The Lord will fight for you and you have only to be silent. Amen. My friends, you can remember how God was being with the Israelites as a pillar of cloud by day and as a pillar of fire by night during their journey from Egypt to the promised land. And my friends, you can remember how God divided the Red Sea for them to cross to the other side of the land. And my friends, you can remember how God supplied them manna. Amen. So my friends, uh, and also my friends, uh, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 16 says, And without faith it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Amen. Billy Graham once said that the Christian life is not a constant high. I have my moments of deep discouragement. I have to go to God in prayer with tears in my eyes and say, Oh God, forgive me, oh help me. My friends, you need to also remember that you need to ask God to forgive all the sins that you have done in your past. That is also really important and God will definitely forgive your sins. Amen. C.S. Lewis once said that life with God is not immunity from difficulties, but peace in difficulties. Amen. So my friends, I hope through this you have understood about the importance of letting the power of God to rule in your lives. So my friends, I hope everything is clear and coherent in today's video. So if you have any questions or clarifications to be made, please leave them down in the comment section down below and I will provide you with the answer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you today, tomorrow and always. May God bless you and keep you. May God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you.